for continuing my quest to find a more suitable place, even though it's not really bad around here. But no, okay. Are you in Pensacola? Or you could be going back. I could be going back. So I don't know. I was wondering what you felt. Are you in Pensacola? Uh, no, this is actually just a phone number. I got it when I was in Georgia, and I wanted to, like, work down in Pensacola. But um, anyway, I've been moving since, so I've had this a couple of years. So I, I oh, just okay, never that's very phone. interesting. But you know yeah. about Pensacola. All right, well, let me see what the, let yeah, me see what the law yeah. of probability let, let me pull and see what the universe is going to support you. I've already been shuffling, shuffling. Uh, but your past... Oh, my gosh. Okay. You have a gentleman watching over you in the now. Now, in the past, again, you have, uh, you've come here looking for wisdom, according to the cards in the universe that I'm pulling up for law of probability. Of course, there's 78 cards, and I pull them based on what you're – I'm listening to your voice and your questions as well. But uh, right now, in the now, there's an older gentleman that is – I don't know. It's a father figure from what I can see. These pictures move around for me. I've got a strange brain. But uh, an older gentleman, while you are going, and it does show the same card for every woman. I've got to get, Tommy, you're going to have to help me, and so is Suzanne on this Law of 78 cards in a tarot. Why is it, no matter how much I shuffle them and separate them in past, present, future, this is for many reasons you do it. I'm doing it the correct way, but this card comes up for every woman. Now, it's strange. I don't get it. It's amazing. So uh, you have a, a similar path to the other lady but that uh, called in a while ago in the pale blue, blindfold on, not sure of the future of what you're looking for. But it does show you're traveling on a white horse, so a big, strong horse. And... Uh, the sun, uh, and I don't know what all this means, but stay in the sun. I guess that means in the south, because all I can do is read the law, the, the law of probability with 78 cards in the tarot and the, and the archetypes. And then, of course, we've had this around forever for mystics, oracles, psychics, sages, seers, shaman, and people that uh, those were put here for those to help us learn how to talk to those things we can't see. I'm a visual person, so I need the tarot to get my brain hooked in better to the universe and every level uh i just i, I have to do that uh it's just something i believe myself and my belief system but i see you staying in the sun uh is, you're not sure but it does say that uh the higher your higher guides meaning uh the people that are surrounding you from your past i'm gonna pull up i'm gonna pull the bottom card from your past huh all travel you have something in you and Tommy can explain that, but I'll let Suzanne go next. But Suzanne may get it too. But you have uh, in your past, because I do past, present, future stacks, but this is from your past. Mm -hmm. It shows that you're traveling around seeking your fortune. So, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try to keep these short because these are mini readings. We've got so many people that want them. We've only got 40 minutes left. But it looks like you're still traveling. But stay in the sun. Stay in the south. And this one shows that you you are better off if you stay near the water. For your money, and it shows you're going to do two. Oh, you know this. Okay, good. Well, the cards yeah. must be right yeah. on. Most people, when they have their cards pulled, they're usually right on their uh, stuff. They and we're only here to help you. You know, in between, help you things. I always say you already know all the answers. We're just here in the spiritual community that you need one to help support you. All right, Suzanne, that's yeah. what I got. Did you get anything? And she I may did. need to tell you her name again. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Tell, tell me yeah. your um. Weather in your area today? Okay, um, it's nice and muggy, but not too humid. Uh, it did rain, and oh my gosh, the the ground smelled so good. Oh, it smelled, smelled so sweet. And then the sun came back out again, and so it's you know just nice, nice and cool, but still warm, you know. Mhm. Mm so. mm -hmm. Okay. So um, it's kind of an interesting impression I get of you. Um, it's kind of like each time you go to a new place, you find some part of yourself almost as if the journey is asking you to learn your own story. So as you move and you take something from each location and you move to another location, you gain more wisdom, more understanding. But I don't, I don't think that you are going to be 
I think you'll move from now until September, but then come September you will find a place that you'll stay in. My first impression of you is that you stay in a place somewhere between um, 40 weeks to two years. And so this is a time when you're going to be settled down for a couple of years, and it's going to turn out to provide you with a lot of growth, wisdom, nurturing friends, and um, financial opportunities. Okay. Okay, let's see what yeah, Tommy has to say. Tommy, can can you <laughs> Tommy, can you uh add anything or did you pick up on anything? Well, I was just gonna add this to the to the picture. Now uh when you get in a reading or when somebody's talking about what's happening, realize we're all on planet Earth right now and the earth is going to a giant change. It affects everybody. It's not affecting one person. So a lot of the things you feel, a lot of people are feeling it. I mean, right now, a lot of people are feeling really depressed because of what's happening. But it's affecting people's dreams. And most people right now are having the most intense dreams everywhere. Uh, but uh-huh. the soul's trying to be aware. And it is, it's always aware. But it's trying to make communication through the mind so that you can perceive it in a different way. So not to let any of these things bother you. Because it's, none, of that's, none, of, none of the things that are actually happening can affect your soul itself. And that's always protected. So when 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 you hear what's going on and what, what's going to happen around, I mean, it's not what you want. Nobody wants to stay in a house every day for the next year and wear a mask every day to go out and all those things. But it's a part of reality that's karma. The earth has its own karma. But when, we, when we're born into on this planet, we get pulled into that karma as well as our own. Uh, I mean, everybody right. contributes to that. So... Uh, this, this is about you, and I mean, when you go out, just realize uh, everybody's going through things. So you're going to see a lot meaner people, nasty people, whatever words you like. People are having a hard time right now. It's probably one of the most difficult times for people in this reality uh, in this during the past hundred years, except maybe depression. And I used to listen to my grandmother talk about that. But when you go through something this hardcore, it makes you think a little harder. Like, why am I here? What am I supposed to do? Where am I going to go? But those answers are there. They're always there when you want them. But the, the only thing I could suggest is try to get the most beneficial things for yourself out of it right now. Uh, because, okay. Uh, it'll change. It'll change. And next year is going to be so different. Uh, the presidency, the control of the planet, the control of everything around us, it'll open up in a different way that we never experienced. So just be prepared for that. But know that change is coming for everybody. Uh and it's going to be good for good people, and it's going to be bad for bad people. So it's a two-way streak for, for a lot of things. Yeah. Because karma is coming to a head, and each one of us is going to be walking into that now and facing it. So oh, no. keep your eyes and ears open and prepare for it, but enjoy and get what you can out of the moment right now. Okay. okay. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, We're going to move along right along. Okay. All right. Well, stay in tune. Be sure and like us on this uh, blog talk. Appreciate it. Stay in touch. We're here for you, a spiritual community. Thank you. Okay. Thank bye-bye. You. All right. Folks, I know I'm having to hurry along, but I don't want to miss uh, any of the people that I told I was going to get to. And I can't dis- differentiate the numbers because uh, – the studio's not showing me how much time they were here, and it's very disappointing for me, but I have to work with what I've got. And uh, some of you are just hanging on to listen to anyway, and that's okay. I don't know if I've got 520. Have I gotten to you? I'm going to have to ask because my board. Have we gotten to you? No. 520? No. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. I'm trying to get everybody. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Lisa. Hi, Elisa. Where are you calling from? Oh, excuse me, Arizona. Awesome. What can I? How can we be of service? I've got me and two other psychic readers here with our Ascension oh, Center thank network. You. Thank you so much. Yeah. I. Sure. How do What's you? Up? You know, I I work as a independent contractor, and I like my industry. And of course, with this um, COVID, um, I'm not getting up hope i'm very positive i deal with people and i go out and you know face to face uh work with people and um how do you see my income for the next like three months please 
Okay, good. These mini readings are pretty good. Uh, now, I'd like I tell everybody, it's the law of probability, of course, but I do use tarot as my uh, tool of choice as a reader. Everybody's different, but uh, we're trying to keep them short, folks, so I'm speeding right through. I'll be darned. Man! <laughs> <laughs> that car. All right. Well, you're you've got the same uh, direction. Most of these women, I'm starting to think with all the billions of people, certain people that internet are the uh, we'll say the universe brings together uh, psychically at some level. I believe more and more that we're here for the same reasons. And uh, you you do have a money card up. It's in your future, and it has to do with your spirituality, and it's actually outside of helping people that have less than you. Uh, it is a uh, service to others, and it's actually showing me the uh, church uh, standing bes- behind with uh, the Oracle of Pentacles for uh, abundance and uh I guess because the world's changing in politics, economics, and religions, world religions, but we're all about the soul self and working as a spiritual community together, helping the souls that come down. But uh, I definitely see money, and it does show, and this is something that uh, people are calling in a lot of the same cards on this spiritual journey, but you are showing that, wow, uh, you may want to do to have uh, what you call uh, a Imaging in your imagination, and Tommy and Suzanne can break it down better for you, but I see when you wish upon a star, but you have the star card up with uh, animals, but you're you're seeking to help others, so the water is pouring through you. So uh, I would suggest you look at, in Arizona, at your Reiki and what you will be working with in moving energy, because what I see has to do with your higher self, and are you working with the uh, entire cosmos because your future is based on the star system. And I don't do that. Suzanne does. But uh, you may want to uh, – I'll ask Suzanne to give you uh, her number for a reading because I don't do those astrology readings, but that's up for you for the future in your money. But it is, uh, especially in Arizona with you being a uh, healer, and uh, if you're not a Reiki healer, uh, some call it Reiki. And you can look at the root of the name and uh, Mr. Sui and all that. But that's up to you. But that's what the cards are showing me, and I've never seen that. But you're, uh, you are going to complete your mission, but it's all about in service to others. But your money will come open in the psychic realm. So you may want to uh, – Tommy is our membership chairman, uh, so he'll have to leave your number two. But your money's up, but it says within nine – so it can be nine days, nine months, nine years, because the first thing, this was the last card. It has to do with you giving your dreams. Uh, the nine matches your dream state at night is creating your future while you're in service to others. Watch your astrology, watch your Reiki, and uh, maybe those are going to be your skills. But let me let Suzanne and Tommy real quickly help you. So Suzanne, uh, you want to ask your name again? She's in Arizona. Yeah. Alicia, Go ahead. can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Hi. Okay, great. Hi, thank Hi. you. Yeah. Um, so what is your profession? It's in sales, sales and marketing. Okay. Do you have a particular area that you do sales and marketing to? It's, um, well, I'm helping people match them up with what they're looking for. Okay. All right, so I think one of the first things I want to tell you is is that I really want you to work on putting your resume together in a real um, polished fashion, um, putting it up on some sites that are free, you know, LinkedIn and so forth. And then I really want you to work hard because I see a period of time where you're not actually um, working in, uh, I think it's Tucson, Arizona, but you're working um, in California, you're working in Nevada. There's a period of time where you travel. That increases your money. It's a short-term job, but they like how you do the job so well that they end up creating a job that you work on um, a certain amount of time each year. And so it's really to your best interest to take and see if you can reach a broader audience, put your resume out there, and go to work. You like psychics. You like the intuitive arts, and you enjoy all of the energetic healing work. Um, I would really think that you'd be the ideal person to work at the sales and marketing level for 
psychics and masseuses and Reiki workers. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. 